it's Sonia. You like my little kimono? <laughs> so I just want to come on real quick. I am dripping water, probably, well, tea, the sage tea. Um, I just washed my hair. I steeped my sage tea leaves, the dried uh, sage tea leaves. I let it cool down. I drained it. I put it, this is it, in my little spray bottle. I spritz my hair really good with it and I'm going to let it sit for like 30 minutes and then after that I'm going to rinse it out, blow, you know, detangle, blow dry, all that good stuff and then look what came today. The other wild growth hair oil and this one looks like it contains the same ingredients as this one this one is the moisturizer i think this one is more so for um daily use or however often you want to use it so i think i may since they basically have the same ingredients i think i may just start with I think I'll start with this one. Oh, simply because it's moisturizing, I'm I'm gonna need that um, after I dry my hair. So I'm just gonna oil my scalp with it and um, lightly oil the ends of my locks and just kind of go from there. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this new um, hair journey, this new hair routine that I'm embarking on, trying to do things healthier. Um, I want to use um, natural products versus going out to the stores and buying things off the shelf that had a lot of or have a lot of things in it that I don't necessarily want to put in my hair or on my scalp. So we're going to try this and I'm just gonna take the top off and I didn't even open it yet. Take this little thingy off just to give it a smell. It doesn't smell bad. I mean, well, I probably should have shook it up first too. So let me shake it up. If it smells anything like this one, it's decent. Yeah. It's okay. Some people don't like the smell. Some people say it stinks. But I understand the smell because of the different things that's used in it. And I know how those oils, certain oils and essential oils, I know how they smell. So it doesn't bother me too much because, you know, not everything is going to... Oh, no, this is a little different. Um, the ingredients, it says oils of coconut, olive oil, jojoba, rice bran, cocoa butter, acerola, pomegranate, rose hip, and pumpkin seed. Extracts of mushroom, chickpea, lentil, cocoa, moss, or moss, mass, M-A-S-S, -S, and sesame seed. Essential oils of clary, sage, eucalyptus, frankincense, geranium, grapefruit, lavender, and peppermint. So this does have a couple of different things in there, which explains why it smells a little different than this one. Um, definitely, hmm, pomegranate, mushroom, chickpea, lentil, I can see why, and sesame, I can see why this one smells a little, I don't know. It smells more beanie <laughs> I don't even know if that's the word I'm looking for or what like foodie like I could smell those things the mushroom and all that stuff this one has more of that smell um earthy I don't know I'm just gonna stop but I just want to share those things with you guys um and again I will keep track of how it goes. I'm going to do this tea rinse. I don't know if I'm going to do it every wash, maybe every other wash, but we'll just see how it goes. I might try every wash just to see 
um, how my hair responds to it, how my scalp responds to it. And especially now that I know that you're supposed to rinse out the tea, you don't leave the tea in, don't let it dry in your hair because um, it's, you know, it's naturally caffeinated and cafe caffeine dries out your hair. So since I'm going to be rinsing it out and then right away oiling my scalp, you know, after I dry, dry my locks, we'll see how it goes. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. This might be the last video I do of 2019. So if so, see you in 2020. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Hello to my new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.